This old guy DIY video has to do with the technique I used to mount garage door extension springs to the back of my utility trailer to assist so it's not so tough to open. And you can see here on the bottom, I use some half inch uh, PVC conduit as a spacer just to keep this thing in the middle of the two metal brackets. And uh, then I used the nylock nut on the end, kept the washers in there just to keep the thing centered. And I put a little bit of extension on it. And up here on the top, I have a nylock nut on the inside, a nylock nut on the outside, a couple of lock washers, and then a couple of big fender washers. And that's a 3 8 inch bolt. But uh, these are the yellow top springs. They're good for 130 pounds a piece. And before, when I dropped this gate, I just had to grunt to throw the thing up. And now, uh, it helps if I unlock the other side. But now, when I set the thing down, it drops in place. It's not, it's not like the videos you see where some guys are picking it up with one finger or a four-year-old girl. But holding the phone in my right hand, I can now grab the gate and put it up without a lot of effort. So I found these springs on eBay, delivered to the house for $30. And that little 3 8 inch bolt on top with a couple of spacers just to keep it away from the gate. And then a 3 8 inch bolt on the bottom with some PVC conduit spacers just to keep it centered so it doesn't rub on anything. And it does a nice job for me, making it so this old guy can handle this gate without a lot of effort. So if this idea saved you time or money, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.